my YouTube introduction. Oh wow, it is messy behind me. Out of sight, out of mind, huh? I just want to set the stage for you really quick. The time is currently 12.34 a.m. I just finished up a stream. Well, a few hours ago, I finished up a stream of Luigi's Mansion 3. It was lots of fun. If you haven't hung out on my live streams, I hope you do. Or join my Discord, become a member. There's exclusive videos, fun stuff like that. I digress. I finished up a stream and then my camera was dead. So I charge it. Also, my microphone is doing something wonky right now. Hello. It's been a day, it's been a night. It's storming outside, which I love. And I really just wanna be in bed playing Animal Crossing. But instead, <laughs> I'm doing this review for you because I'm not gonna put it off. I keep doing that and that's why my YouTube videos are so slow. So thank you for watching. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe, like the video. You know, you could always subscribe anyway. Nobody's gonna be upset, you know, except you when you see my face in your subscription inbox. But I don't upload that often, so you won't be that inconvenienced, I'm just saying. What we're looking at today is not only relevant to my work interests, it's actually super relevant to my Nintendo interests because it is a portable monitor which I'm going to try and hook up to the Nintendo Switch. I wanna get an idea of what I can do with this, whether I can bring it with me to, you know, work trips or conventions and hook up my Switch when I'm at a hotel that has, you know, not a great TV with good hookups. Portable monitor seems like a really good solution. Or, you know, if you wanna do some impromptu smash, some impromptu multiplayer gaming, Maybe this is something you can even set up, you know, on the side of a hallway at a convention or uh, at a friend's house as a secondary TV, things like that. So let's just open it up and see what we got going on here. A big thank you to LePow or LePow, I have no idea how to say it correctly, for actually providing the review product. I will put a link to it down below. It's just something that you can get on Amazon. So, you know, nothing nothing sketchy or anything like that. Uh, I'll look at some of the information on the back. It's a 15.6 inch type C portable display. Uh, it says it's got a USB type C, a 3.5 3 millimeter jack, which is like a headphone jack. It's IPS panel type, aspect ratio 16 by 9, 1920 by 1080 resolution, bunch of other technical stuff that I don't really know what it means. And there are built-in speakers. So that is a big, big plus without dropping it. I tend to do that in my review videos. Well, it comes in a nice box. Wow, this is so exciting. Let me <laughs> tell you why. This is just the packaging, but I've never received craft foam as packaging. I can 100% reuse this for cosplay. Okay, so it comes with a screen protector, warranty card. Uh, we've got an a USB-C to USB 2.0, it looks like. And a wall charger, so, or wall power adapter, sorry, not charger. So this is what you use the USB-C to provide power. Okay, there's a couple other wires in here. So we've got a USB-C to USB-C and a HDMI to HDMI. User guide, which I probably will need to look at. Patch installation cleaning kit. I don't know, oh, it's a cleaning kit for putting on your screen protector because you don't want to put a screen protector on a screen that's got smudges on it. Common sense. All right, get this box out of here. So here is the screen. Ready, steady. It's got a protector and everything on it. It's not just an exposed screen. It's got a little stand. I love that. So this is a really nice gunmetal gray metal on the back of it, but you know, you don't really have a reason to see it. This is stuck on here, so I'm gonna leave it so I don't touch the screen for the time being until I put the protector on. But this is the screen. You can see my light, my camera kind of. Um, it's very light. The box itself is a little bit on the heavier side, so this is nice. <laughs> to know that it's pretty light. And then this uses magnets in some way, but it's been a while since I used one of these. So let me see if I can assemble it correctly. Thank <laughs> you. 
pretty solid triangle right there. Do I lean it on like that? No, I don't think that's right anyway. After all that. Okay, I think I found one configuration that is correct. You know, I'm not a genius here. It's a triangle. Seems good to me. Uh, I'm just gonna <laughs> stick with this. You know, people use these things all the time for like iPads and other tablets. We have a monitor here. It's standing up. We gotta make it work. And to do that, I guess we start by plugging it in with the wall port and the USB-C. Boop, 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 boop. It's not a touch screen, so doing this is not gonna help me <laughs> at all. It's just gonna put fingerprints on it. So next step, oh yeah, I wonder how I do the settings. If there's, oh, there's like a, some stuff on the side. It looks like you can use an external power supply as long as it ha is over five volts, two amps. So that's good. Power, oh, so this side, if I use the right side, that is the one intended for the power supply. See, I should have read the instructions. Should maybe say something to me? It just says no signal, which is accurate. And then it's going into power saving mode because there's no signal. Makes sense. I didn't look very well at this. They didn't provide HDMI to HDMI, they provided mini HDMI to HDMI. So this has a mini HDMI port. All good, because they gave me the cable that I needed because I don't have very many mini HDMI things. So what I'm gonna do, I plug mini HDMI, into the monitor, boo boo boo, bada bing, plug regular HDMI into the switch. I have my switch right here. It is the Animal Crossing one, of course. I'm kind of roughing, roughly handling it right now, which is not something I approve of, but it's for a moment. It'll be okay, it's okay. All right, moment of truth. I, I'm just gonna turn on the switch and see how it fares. I mean, I don't understand why it would do anything other than just turn on for me, but <laughs> let's give it a shot. Let's see. Power. It's right there. <gasps> Wowie. Oh goodness. It looks great. So, I mean, the switch only outputs at 1080. So what else is it going to look like? But it looks fantastic. I don't know how well you can tell, but oh, it looks good. Let's see, any lag? I'm guessing it should be fine. Oh, this is great. This looks like a super duper easy peasy option for bringing a bigger screen with you, with your Switch, if you're planning on playing with other people. The volume is pretty good. I wonder how high up and how low it goes. Okay, so this is at 50% volume. This is uh, louder than I would usually play handheld mode in. I'm afraid to even find out how loud it goes because it's one o'clock in the morning. All right, it's not actually a huge difference. Um, it's loud. It's enough for if you have several people around to hear it. I'm gonna turn that back down. I'm sorry to my neighbors. So the settings, there's one little uh, notch on the side, a little uh, scrolly thing, and you can click it in, move up and down. That's pretty much the only thing you need to do. There's brightness and then a bunch of color settings. I can change the signal source, uh, probably from HDMI to USB. Another thing this is good for, uh, I'm getting away from the Nintendo stuff a little bit, but you know, I do have a job, is a second monitor for your laptop when you're working from home, but also for presenting things. Uh, you can hook up your phone to it, laptop, whatever. If you're just in a meeting and trying to show people some stuff instead of you know flipping your laptop around, this is super cool, really neat option. I am gonna get a ton of use out of this, both for work and for switch travel stuff. I can't be the only one who travels to hotels that have just the crappiest TVs that don't even let you hook up your own HDMI stuff. So this completely solves that issue. So you can see what I see. This is with a little cover on it too, with my own finger smudges on the cover. Crisp, beautiful. 
it's nice and matte. Overall, this is really, really nice. I definitely am going to be using this a lot. <gasps> no, that was the bug I needed. I'm so upset. I knew that was there as I approached it and I still did that. I don't think there's really anything more to say about this. It functions the way that it's supposed to. It looks really good. I'm a big fan as a person who's not like a, a screen genius. This is a really awkward angle. I feel like my space. So again, this is made by Lepau. Their monitor is on Amazon, super easy to get a hold of. So I'll put a link down below. I think the retail is a bit under the $200 mark. So, you know, it's on the pricier side for for gaming accessories, if you will, if that's the only reason you're buying it. But if you're buying a monitor anyway, this is certainly a good option to be able to take it on the go with you or to be able to move it from room to room if you happen to have a laptop. I love this. I didn't even know these existed until this company reached out to me, so I'm living for it. All right, I guess that's it. I'm gonna leave you all with that, but thanks for watching. Uh, I'll put all of the information that I think you need in the description box below, including a link. Uh, and if you have any questions about the product, let me know. I will do my best to answer them. So thank you for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and please stay happy. Please stay healthy. Please stay safe. I'll talk to you all soon. Love you. Dun 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 d